hello guys in this video we are going to install this new model llama 3 instruct 8 billion point tune with simpo what simpo is i already have done a detailed video on simpo but let me just give you a quick overview of this amazing technique which has just been released simpo stands for simple preference optimization it is a new reinforcement learning from human feedback method that has been released to improve simplicity and training stability for offline preference tuning while outperforming dpo or orpo dpo and orpo are also other methods for training and i already have done videos on them simpo is quite similar to dpo by being a reward free method but uses the average log probability of a sequence as the implicit reward it uses the average log probability it does not require a reference model and it employs a length normalized reward formulation to penalize two long responses. It also introduces a target reward margin, encouraging a larger gap between chosen and rejected responses. The main objective of Simpo is to maximize the cumulative reward, which is the difference between the average log probabilities of the chosen and rejected responses minus the target reward margin. The great thing about this Simpo is that it reduces the time by 20% and GPU memory by 10% compared to DPO. And if you, watched, if you have watched my previous videos, I already have shown you that DPO is quite performant. So something which is even outperforming DPO is bound to impress you. There are a lot of benchmarks where Simpo oriented models have beaten the other similar models. And the reason why I have picked this model which is llama 3 instruct 8 billion simple is that on one of the benchmark it has even beaten gpt4 which is quite surprising for me so let's go to my local system and then we will get it installed i am using ubuntu 22.04 as you can see on my screen and i have one gpu card rtx a6000 with vram of 48 gb and i have to give a big shout out to mast compute for sponsoring this vm and this gpu if you are also looking to rent a gpu then i think you cannot go wrong with mast compute their rates are very very cheap and the performance is quite good i haven't had any issue since i have been using it so if you are looking to rent the gpu i will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon Code. if you use that coupon you are going to get 50 percent discount so please do check them out if you are looking to rent a gpu let's go back to my terminal and then we will get cracking on this one let me clear the screen another thing i would highly encourage you to do is to install coda to keep everything nice and simple and separate from your existing installation i already have this coda installed so let me clear the screen and let me first quickly create the conda environment so i'm just calling it simpo for the in the honor of this new method let's wait for it to initialize just press y here and press enter and that is going to be done fairly quickly let's activate this simpo and you will see it in the parentheses as we step into this environment let's clear the screen Another thing which I'm going to use for um, this video is I'm going to use uh, Llama, dot, Llama CPP Python. So if you don't know what a Llama CPP Python is, let me give you a very quick overview. Llama CPP Python is a Python wrapper for Llama CPP that supports inference for many large language models. It is also accessible on Hugging Face by the way. So it is a wrapper, Llama CPP Python, whereas Llama CPP is a high performance open source library for inference of LLMs on CPU, supporting various models like Llama, GPT, and much more. Because I'll be using the GGUF format, so I have just decided to use that one for this purpose. Okay, that having said that, let me show you how you can get it installed and then we will go from there. So in order to install this, all you need to do is to run this Llama CPP Python and then wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. That is done already. Awesome. 
let me clear the screen and let me launch my python interpreter where we are going to do the inference okay so let's import the llama cpp so i'm just importing the llama from here and i already have downloaded the gguf format of this instruct simpo which i am just referring to on my local disk so this is the file which i have downloaded you can download it from hugging face simply search with this llama 3 instruct 8 billion simpo and you should be able to download this file easily so let me press enter here and you see it has produced all the information about this model so i'm not going to go into this detail detail right now because i already have covered it so you see it has put in all the layers the kv cache and all that stuff a lot of interesting information is there let me clear this to make it more readable i'm just using python lambda here that is clear now in order to do the inference all you need to do is to call that llm by writing this so my prompt is write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty and then i'm just doing the max tokens to 200 and then let's wait for it to response it not take too long there you go it has printed the it has produced the response let's print that there you go so these are the 10 sentences so if you look at it we asked it that write 10 sen 10 sentences ending with the word beauty so if you look at the first one yes it ends with beauty that is correct second is also correct third is also correct fourth correct fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth that's oh my god so all of these have been correct and let me tell you why i am so surprised because i think hardly any model is was able to answer this question correctly except gpt 40 even llama 3 original version instruct 1 it was not able to give me 10 sentences which were ending with beauty sometime it was reaching 6 sometime it uh, sometime it was reaching 7 but this one with simpo it is able to address all of it very very correctly how good is that amazing stuff let's ask it a couple more questions let me clear the screen first so in the next one i have just asked it this maths question that 24 25 minus 4 into 2 and then it has produced the answer which is totally correct 20 amazing amazing stuff let's clear the screen so not only it's reasoning logical um capabilities are fine its maths is also quite good let's try to ask it another logical question so if you look at here i'm asking it john and mark are in the room with a ball a basket and a box john puts the ball in the box then leaves for work while john is away mark puts the ball in the basket and then leaves for school they both come back together later in the day and they do not know what happened in the room after each of them left the room where do they think the ball is okay so this is the first one in the box in the basket neither they don't know equally likely to be in either place that's awesome stuff so it has very very um, intelligently divided into different answer amazing stuff let me clear the screen okay now let me try to ask it a coding question so the coding question which i have given it is that generate a python function that is calculates the area of rectangle given its length and width okay so what it has done is okay because it, the reason is i have just specified 200 tokens so let me increase that and then we will see the code here maybe i will just make it thousand for the sake of it the max token let me clear the screen again and ask ask it with a thousand one let's wait for it to come back there you go okay, it is not producing it the thousand one maybe it is just putting the choices here but it is producing something but it is not producing it here what i'm doing wrong so there you go so what i have changed it i have simply removed that um stop sequence from it 
and then it has produced it in this way of course it's a text editor so please uh, pardon for the issue with the formatting but you can see that it has already given us a proper code and it has also given us a uh, proper uh, synopsis of the code so i'm not going to go to you know remove this because that is going to take a bit of a time but our test is successful not only the coding and reasoning math but also in the general common sense the model performs really well so that's it guys uh, really impressed by simpo i will be evaluating it more and if i got a chance i might do a full training video on it soon so stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching